Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Storm Master petrol lighter advertising Du Bois Chemicals. At least according to their website, that is the proper pronunciation. We'll get into that a little bit more here in a minute. This lighter is marked Patent Pending Storm Master Made in USA. I believe it is anodized aluminum. It's a gold tone to the case. Sort of a brush finish. The lighter does have some blemishes, scuffs, dings, dents, finish loss, most of that right here. It's still an attractive lighter, which I believe is in unused condition. The wick has a little bit of dusty look to it, but still white as though it is not burned at all. This is a flip top lighter. It is also a slip case lighter. And the Storm Master, which I think may have been the same as far as the Bowers number 10, which, from the best I can tell, this was just an aluminum version of the Bowers number 10. Apparently, at some point later, it got renamed the Surefire, which was the name for the slide sleeve model of trench type lighter that people know Bowers for, those that were made, I think, like in the 1930s. These particular aluminum lighters were made in the mid 50s. And according to the Toledo Bin website, where I got most of the information that I've told you today, the Surefire name took over for Storm Master shortly after they began the aluminum production of these lighters. This lighter, however, is not even marked Bowers. Which I'm sure I have seen versions that are actually marked Bowers rather than Storm Master rather than just Storm Master but maybe I'm confusing that with the number 10 or 2 I have owned. See the felt pad maybe a little dusty but mostly clean got the flint spring screw which is a little bit stiff in this one I do want to make note of that because I have had these aluminum constructed Bowers lighters where the flint tube has come unattached on me. But this lighter has not been used. The flint tube is clear. And 
doesn't really appear to have had a degraded flint in it. it does show some contamination to the felt pad but if it had a flint degraded in that tube it was before I owned it and somebody did a pretty good job of cleaning up so we have a lighter here that is in new condition with some contamination to the felt underneath with a stiff flint spring screw a wick that is a little dusty but obviously hasn't been burned or lit slip that case back on held in place by this little leaf spring on the back it's a nice what three color or four color emblem I made note of the pronunciation of the name Du Bois is what it said on the website like D-U and then boy because I had a doctor by that name who it was spelled exactly the same and when I met her she pronounced it one way and by the time I had my last encounter with her she was pronouncing it another and neither one of those pronunciations were the same as the Du Bois Chemicals Company website gave for how they want it pronounced. I guess some names are just like that. Or when you bring a name from one language into a society or culture that uses another that is probably part of the problem as well and maybe it's not a problem it's just part of figuring it all out keep you on your toes you're never sure how you're supposed to pronounce it until next time